Clip Joint from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, available at en.wikipedia.org. A clip joint or flesh pot is an establishment, usually a strip club or a nightclub, often claiming to offer adult entertainment or bottle service, in which customers are tricked into paying far above market prices for low grade goods or services, or sometimes nothing, in return. Typically, clip joints suggest the possibility of sex, charge inflated prices for watered-down alcoholic drinks, and then throw out customers when they become unable or unwilling to spend more money. The products and services offered may be illegal, allowing the establishment to maintain the scam with little fear of punishment from law enforcement, since its victims cannot report the venue without admitting they broke the law. Even when victims have broken no laws, they may be too embarrassed to seek legal recourse. In the United States, clip joints were widespread during the National Prohibition of Alcohol from 1920 to 1933, and the practice later became outlawed. For instance, the New York State Liquor Authority imposes penalties against any licensed premises permitting such conduct. Clip joints still operate openly in some areas of the world, such as Shanghai, Las Vegas, Soho, and Kabukicho, where they prey on visiting tourists. Description. A typical scenario involves a beautiful woman, typically either a local or claiming to be, who approaches the mark, typically a young adult male tourist, and recommends a favorite local bar or club. Alternatively, a clip joint employee waits near a legitimate club and invites passing pedestrians into a VIP area of the clip joint. The potential customers are led to believe that the person works for the nearby club, though they may not explicitly say so. The man is usually seated at a table and joined by a hostess, who may or may not order drinks. Whether or not any services are performed or drinks are ordered has little bearing on the outlandish bill received at the end of the night. Bills are commonly hundreds of, if not over a thousand, dollars, listing items like a hostess fee or service charge that were not originally mentioned to the customer. The arrival of the bill typically corresponds with the arrival of a few large bouncers to ensure payment, sometimes leading the victim to an ATM to retrieve the money. The beautiful woman who originally lured the mark to the location often makes an excuse and leaves prior to the arrival of the bill. If confronted, the establishment claims they have no connection with the woman and indicates that she arrived with the man, and as such the man is responsible for all of the items on the bill. Once inside, drinks are usually non-alcoholic, as the venues usually don't have a license, or watered down and overpriced with no prices listed on the menu. Unrequested companions may also arrive at the table. In the United Kingdom, a number of clip joints, or near beer bars, still operate in London's Soho area alongside legitimate strip bars. Since 2007, the London Local Authorities Act reclassified clip joints as sex establishments, meaning that they required relevant licenses, closing a loophole where these businesses did not need a license to operate because they did not serve food or alcohol or provide entertainment. In 2009, two people were jailed for 36 and 14 months respectively after threatening an undercover police officer in a Soho clip joint. In Japan Botakuri, or rip-off clubs, have been a small but present problem in Japan, especially Tokyo's Kabukicho district. The complainants had surged tenfold in 2015, and police have begun crackdowns. In a mid-2015 sweep by the Tokyo Metropolitan Police, six hostess clubs were found to have charged as much as 2.6 million yen, equivalent to approximately 2,600 U.S. dollars, for one evening's visit by nine male customers. There have been some reports of Botakuri operating in Akihabara under the guise of maid cafes rather than hostess bars. Bottle Service Clubs The Manhattan Bottle Service Club Arena was sued in 2007 for their version of the clip joint scam. In December 2007, a patron knowingly purchased a $350 bottle of vodka, but was not told of a three-bottle minimum. At the end of the night, he was presented with a $1,050 tab that included two unordered bottles. 
when he refused to pay, the arena bouncers beat him up. The patron agreed to get money from an ATM, but after the bouncers escorted him two blocks to a machine, his debit card was declined. The bouncers then dragged him back to the bar, where he was held until police arrived. He was arrested for theft of services, but the charges were dismissed, and he later sued the club for $2 million. Cultural References the 1937 crime film Marked Woman, starring Betty Davis and Humphrey Bogart, portrays a clip joint. Other films featuring clip joints include Manpower, Lullaby of Broadway, The Asphalt Jungle, and Porky's. The fabulous clip joint is the first novel by science fiction and mystery writer Frederick Brown. In Tennessee Williams' Streetcar Named Desire, in the opening scene, a sailor is warned against visiting the Four Deuces, as it is a clip joint. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Like 4.0 International License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen SA slash 4.0. I'm Ping Rob saying, don't get scammed.